Hello and welcome back to Let's Make a Game in C++ using SDL and OPGL. And this is episode 4 and in this episode I'll show you how to draw basic primitives on the screen and we'll also color them. So let's get right to it. Windows users should start up their ID, um, code blocks or something else and open up the project. And Emacs users, I mean Linux users, should open up their favorite text editor and open up the file we were working on in the episode 3. So this is our file from the last time. As you can see it's unchanged. I won't be doing any changes to the code outside the video because that would only confuse people. So we are going to talk about rendering. So naturally we are going to be working in the rendering part of the main loop. So this is the main loop, this is the event part, the logic part is empty and the rendering part already has two functions. The first one clears the screen so we can start rendering on the screen. Then we render and at the end we put it on the screen using this function. Now before we start rendering anything to the screen we have to say OpenGL that will start rendering and we do that using a function called GL push matrix and we end the rendering phase using GL pop matrix what this basically does GL push matrix brings up the matrix where matrix is something like a grid where we draw stuff on so this brings the matrix to us so we can draw on it and the pop matrix it's capital pop uh, puts the matrix back so it can be rendered on the screen uh, some people don't use GL push matrix and pop matrix I usually do uh, so there are other ways on drawing on the screen but I usually just use this one it always works so where this is the start phase yeah start phase and this is the end for rendering now I'm going to explain the matrix a bit so here's our GIMP and I have a tablet so it should be easier to draw so in maths the matrix is actually a coordinate system so a coordinate system in maths works like this. This is the x and this is the y axis. X is the x axis goes from left to right and the y axis goes from down to up. Now in every computer based games, OpenGL, DirectX and everything else, the coordinate system is a little different as far as I know x goes from left to right and y goes from up to down so basically just the y axis is turned around and in the default setting for OpenGL there is a minimum and maximum for a each axis so in the default setting there's point one, 1 here in the down right corner this is one one and up here in like the upper left corner I think it's minus one minus one maybe it's, it's zero zero but I think it's minus one minus one so zero zero is in the middle of the screen but uh, we are going to change the matrix a little because our window has different proportions it's 600 pixels wide and 400 pixels high so it will it is easier to work with if we set the matrix to be the same size as the window so we basically know if you're going to draw it on pixel 0 0 then it will be in the up left corner and not the pixel minus 1 minus 1 it's kind of awkward so we're going to change it we're going to change it so that it is something like this that down here is 0 0.600, 400, and up here will be 0 0.00. 0. 
So if we want to draw something like a point on the middle, it will be pixel 300 because it's half of the screen, so it's 300 pixels and 200 for the y axis. So y axis goes down and the x axis goes here from left to right. So now that I have basically explain this, let's do this in the code. So we have to change the matrix. And we do this using a function called GL Auto. This I know I don't know how it's pronounced, I just call it GL Auto. And now we have to say how big the matrix is gonna be. And we say zero. Now we say the width it's six hundred pixels. Then we say the height is four hundred pixels. And we say zero again. And now it also wants something for the three dimensions, but because we won't be using that, we just say minus one one. So you could say I think you could put zero one, but I make it two pixels depth. So we set the matrix. The only thing you have to worry about is the first four. It's zero, then it's the width, the height, and again zero. Now, when we start to draw something like the rectangle, uh, triangle, dots, lines, or everything, uh, basically a polygon, we have to say that we're going to draw. And we do that using a function name glbegin. Very convenient name, just begin. And now we have to say what we're going to draw. You can do gl points. So you can draw points, many of them, then GL lines, many lines, GL line strip is, um, let's just erase it, so that's uh, GL points, yeah, basically you draw points. Then we have uh, GL lines, so you can draw line like here this and this and this then we have gl line strip it's basically a connected line like you start here and go with a line here down here and down here then we have a gl line loop it's basically a gl line strip but it connects the end so you do like from here to here to here and then it will automatically connect to the first point so you get a closed space usually the next one is GL quads it's a rectangle basically not a real a rectangle it's just a shape that has four points so you can go like from here down here 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 and up. It can also be a normal rectangle. Doesn't it doesn't care. It just needs to have four points in it. Um, and the other one that I'm going to do is GL triang triangles. You basically put three points in it to get a triangle. So you say it like this, this and this and you draw a triangle. We won't be doing triangle in this tutorial. And another one is GL polygon, which is an infinite, well, I don't know if it's infinite, number of points. We can make like a very complex shape out of it. So that's the basics. And for the start, we're going to make a line. So we put GL lines. And at the end of drawing, we do GL end. So it knows that we stopped defining the points in the shape. So a line has two points the start and the finish. And we define a point using a GL vertex 2F. Now, the 2 stands for 2 dimension and you can put 3 for 3 dimensions and the F stands for what type we're going to put in so F is for float, A is for integer 
and D is for double. Double goes from 0 to 1, float and integer go from whatever you set the matrix to be. So for float now it's from 0 to 600 for the x axis and from 0 to 400 for the y axis. So we want true D and I put the x and the y coordinate for the starting point of the line. And I want it to be at point zero zero, that's the top left corner of the screen, and go to the bottom right corner, so that's 600 pixels the x-axis and 400 y-axis. So this is the top left corner, and this is the bottom right corner. And this is the end drawing. Now, what this will do is first it will start the drawing phase. Then we set the matrix of how we want to use it. Then we start drawing a primitive, it's lines in this case. Then we set the points, each point is set with a GL vertex and then a 2 and a F in this tutorial. Uh, for where it should be for X and Y. If you put 3 in here then you have to specific the depth so it could be like 0 but we don't do 3D stuff so put it to 2. Then we start stop the drawing of our primitive and stop the drawing phase. phase. Now we also want to have a color for the line and basically you can set the color wherever you want. You can set it before the matrix, before setting the matrix, before beginning the lines, even between the different uh, points. So let's just set the color before we start drawing the line. So let's set the color with GL color and again you put 3 and then you set uh, what type you're going to put in. I use UB. I think it's UB. Yeah, yeah UB is. Uh, UB is so we can s put it in from in the range from 0 to 255. If you use like double then you have to put the color in in the range of 0 to 1 and I think the same goes for F. And there you can also put color 4 uh, if you put 4 then you also have to tell the alpha I usually put 4 UB I'm kinda comfortable with that so colors go red, green, blue and alpha so we want to be a uh, red line so we go red, green, blue and alpha is always 255 if you would put 3 here, then you wouldn't put alpha in the back. But I usually do that. So now we have a red, red color. A line from top left to the bottom right. So let's compile this. We have to set linker. And it compiled. Oh, wrong. And we're on. As you can see, we have a line from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. And if I'm not mistaken, then we put an event last time. If you press R, the screen goes red. And we cannot see our line because everything is red. So let's close this and let's draw a quad, a rectangle. So we put shield quads and we have to say put another two points for the rectangle. Also make sure that you always draw a rectangle in clockwise or counterclockwise side. So don't put this point first, then this, then this, and then this because you get some awkward shape. You should always go 
clockwise to direction of the rectangle. You can also go counterclockwise. So our first point is going to be, let's say, five pixels to the right and five down. The next going to be 595, so that's five pixels from the right and still five pixels down. The next one is going to be the same X, but it's going to go down almost to the bottom of the window, so 395. And the last one is at 5x and 395y. Compile this and what? As you can see, it goes from here to here, down here, bottom left, and then it completes the rectangle. It's now all red. As I said, you can change colors whatever you want. So that's it starts with red and then we're going to change the color after we draw on the first two points so let's change the color to green GL color to red green blue and all and let's run it as you can see it draw the first two points red red and then it started to go green for the third point it's green and green as, I, as you can see it made a nice transition between red and green now that we have that let's draw some points so this is our first drawing let's make another one so this is GL end we end the first one and let's make another one so we go GL begin and we're going to put another basically no we're going to do lines so do some lines so GL lines and also GL and at the end and now we have to say where the line will go I'll make it a black line so GL color and black color is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. so it's zero of red, green, blue, and two five five, so it's visible. Black color, and this is green color. So I want the strip to go from the upper left corner of the rectangle we drawn before. So it goes from this position to the down right. That is this position. Let's just copy this. Goes from here. So we draw a line. And it goes till the bottom right corner of the rectangle. Compile and run. And we have first the rectangle. And then we have a black line from the top left corner of the rectangle to the bottom right corner. And let's add another line. We can simply add it in the lines because GL lines, as I said before, you can draw multiple lines. Every two points correspond to one line. So let's make another one from the top right corner to the bottom left corner of the rectangle. So from this point to this point. Compile. And we have another line. So we have a rectangle and two lines. And that's basically all I have to show for basic rendering. You should play around a little, change to different primitives that you're going to draw put different points in it to see how it works especially the line strip and the line loop also G the GL polygon there's a lot of documentation how it works online but this is the basics how you draw you set the face for drawing set the matrix 
you always can set the color and then you start drawing with the GL begin and you say what you're going to draw put the points in you can change the color in the middle of the drawing so it will change color and then you end drawing as you can see you could do multiple drawings as I did here is the line and here's the quad and we add the rendering phase with GL pop matrix and that's basically it for today's episode thank you for watching and see ya